The Genesis GV70 Electrified offers a very different take on what a full-sized premium badged executive segment crossover EV should be. Thinking of an iPACE, a Q8 e-tron, an iX or an EQC? Factor in one of these as well. Premium brand makers are divided over whether full-size crossover EVs should be merely electric versions of existing models or completely new designs. If you like different, you'll appreciate cars in this class, like the Jaguar I-Pace, the Mercedes EQC and the Audi e-tron. BMW, in contrast, serves up an iX3 model visually much the same as the Combustion X3. And it's that latter approach that Korean premium maker Genesis has followed with this GV70 electrified. This is the only car in this class with an 800 volt electrical architecture that allows use of the ultra fastest public chargers. And it's the only one with a clever vehicle to load feature that allows you to power electrical auxiliary devices from the vehicle or even charge another EV. Plus, as with all Genesis models, this one comes with a level of customer service backup that rivals can't approach. It all sounds intriguing. Both the fossil fuel GV70 power plants are impressively quiet. But of course, nothing like as silent as the third powertrain option that Genesis is offering, that for the fully electrified version of this model. The electric GV70 drives all four of its wheels, as the petrol and diesel versions do, but as with any such EV, does so rather differently, with separate motors driving each axle, collectively generating a rather impressive combined output of 483 brake horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. That's good enough to power the car to 62 miles an hour in 4.2 seconds, which to give you some class perspective is over half a second quicker than a rival Mercedes EQC. Of more interest though to a likely owner is the projected driving range between charges, WLTP rated at a fairly unremarkable 283 miles between charges of the 77.4 kilowatt hour battery. Special noise cancelling technology on the EV variant improves refinement, reducing tyre roar by using microphones and sensors to project inverted sound waves through the audio speakers. You'll also appreciate the electrified GV70's smart regenerative braking system, which analyzes your driving habits and road conditions to alter the level of energy recuperation. Or you can maximize that manually and select a one pedal style driving mode that'll see you hardly ever having to use the brake. So abrupt is off throttle deceleration. This EV model also gets an e-terrain driving mode to handle slippery surfaces. And there's a sport driving mode that you can add to with a boost button on the steering wheel to make acceleration even feistier. The main visual difference with this GV70 electrified model over its combustion stablemates is the fact that this model's usual signature crest grille has evolved into an aerodynamic appendage that features an inverted G matrix pattern and incorporates a hidden electric charging port. Chief stylist Luke Donkervolker and his team call this a minimalist yet sophisticated look. Inside, the EV theme is emboldened by a bright, glassier white interior highlights that look striking but are unlikely to prove very practical. A variety of eco-friendly materials have been used to furnish it, and each features a high-quality finish, completing a design that embodies Genesis' vision for a sustainable luxury from the inside out. Up front, as in any ordinary GV70, there's a big 15.4-inch central touchscreen which can be operated by a touchpad controller dial, you'll constantly mistake for the similarly shaped gear selector until you get used to the car. It's a little different at the back with this EV model. The central tunnel has been lowered to make up for the bulkiness of the powertrain, creating a level of second row space equivalent to that of a combustion GV70. The boot is of a comparable size as well. At 503 litres, 
It's down just a little on the 542 litres you'd get in a conventional GV70, but in this case, you also get an extra 22 litres of frunk capacity under the bonnet. Genesis won't launch any further combustion cars after 2025 and will only sell EVs from 2030. With that in mind, you'd be surprised if demand for this full electric GV70 variant didn't grow considerably over its lifetime. Even at pricing pitched at around £65,000 for the single sport trim level available. Still, it comes much better equipped than rivals for that. As standard, the electrified GV70 is generously equipped, including advanced technology such as next-generation safety systems, a widescreen 14.5-inch infotainment display, an e-terrain mode for extra driver confidence in all conditions, and electronically controlled suspension with a road preview system. Luxury and tranquility come to the fore in the beautifully crafted interior with powered leather seats, LED mood lighting and the extensive use of high-grade materials. Furthermore, a range of carefully chosen option packages allow for further personalisation, each with a theme of technology, luxury or versatility. Included among these extras are even more advanced driver aids, including the semi-autonomous Highway Driving Assistant 2 or HDA2 and Remote Smart Parking Assist or RSPA. Also available are the supremely supportive Ergo Motion seats with massage function and the high fidelity Lexicon sound system with the cutting edge Active Noise Control Road or ANCR system. As we said in our driving section, the car gets twin electric motors powered by a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery, which when fully charged delivers a rather unremarkable 283 mile WLTP rated driving range. As with all EVs from the Hyundai Motor Group, the powertrain here is underpinned by an 800 volt electric architecture, which means that unlike most of its rivals, the car can use ultra fast 350 kilowatt chargers, such as those provided by Ionity. In the unlikely event you can find one of those, a 10 to 80% battery top up will take just 18 minutes. A V2L feature is available to supply up to 3.6 kilowatts of power from the battery pack to charge auxiliary devices, say a drone or an electric scooter, for instance, or even another EV. Like every Genesis, this one will come covered by a generous five-year care plan, which includes scheduled servicing for five years or 50,000 miles. With each service visit, Genesis will collect and return the car to your door. And this also applies to any necessary work required, including warranty work. You simply contact your Genesis personal assistant to make it happen, who can also arrange a courtesy car. Try asking for any of that to be included in the price from a rival premium brand model. The five-year care plan also includes updates to in-car navigational maps, and there's complimentary subscription to Genesis Connected Services, which will allow you to access information services from your phone to digitally enhance your ownership experience. The challenge for Genesis is going to be getting segment customers to register that this GV70 electrified model even exists. If it can do so and get them behind the wheel, there's scope for conquest business here for the brand. This car can, after all, offer you right now the 800 volt ultra rapid charging tech and vehicle to load EV technology that won't appear in rivals until their next generation. It can also undercut them on price and give you more equipment. The smaller GV60 gave this brand's EV dreams some credence, and that gets underlined here.